We are in Stone Valley, Illinois, trying to resurrect this old dairy farm back into what it once was. Since we've moved here, there's been a lot of things that we've needed to get right that were previously wrong. The fields were a mess, the buildings were in need of some repair, and we had no equipment or vehicles at all. Since then, we've been building slowly. We've got some cows now, and we're finally able to produce some milk on this farm. And that's all great, but without these fields helping us with the food, we'll just be spinning our tires. Let's continue on with our journey into the dairy industry in Stone Valley, Illinois. And now what's up guys welcome back to another day here on the farm here in stone valley as again we try to get this dairy operating again the good news is that we've got cows we got them in the last episode so now at least we are producing milk but like i said in the intro if we don't get this field right if we don't get all of the grass that we need we're not going to be able to make some food and Therefore, we're not going to be able to feed these cows. So we're going to have to get out here in the field. This field right here needs to be seeded up. So we are going to continue seeding it from the last episode. As you see, we've got some oil seed radish out here already. So it's going to be pretty easy to see how far we've gotten or better yet, how far we've got to go. But either way, we are on the last stages of this job anyway. And today I'd also like to roll this field get all of those small stones down we do not have a uh, stone picker not yet anyway but either way we are going to get some of those stones down so that we help our equipment a little bit and you know just try to get this field going again because it's been a few years since it's even had anybody working in it so we're always expecting the worst either way let's get this all seated up and i will be back
And now with the seeding all done, we can focus on other things that we have to get done today. And really the big thing that we have to get done today, as I said earlier, was the rolling. But we have to go down to Clever Motors. We have to spend some more money. Now, we have a choice. We can either buy this or we can lease this. And I think with how much we're going to be using this roller, I think we're probably just going to lease it. Now, as the farm rolls on, I can see that we would buy one just so that we don't have to keep going down to Clever. But right now, we need all the money that we can get. So we are just going to lease a uh, roller and we have to go down there. But before we do all of that, we were just talking about the cows. We should probably keep them alive. So we're going to feed them. I've got some TMR, uh, if you remember from a couple episodes ago. We put some TMR over in the silo. So we can go over and grab some of that right now and then we can feed these cows. That way they're happy. We're happy that they're not gonna die. And then we can focus on other things completely. But the silo over here is going to hold a lot of things for us, uh, namely grass, namely cow food, basically. Uh, we're not gonna do any arable farming. I don't think that we're going to be putting any, you know, wheat or canola or anything like that in the ground. We're mostly going to be using grass as the main source of what we're doing here. It makes silage, it feeds cows, it will make a good feed mix as well, so we can do that. And also we can sell the silage if we need more money, but I'm hoping that this dairy is going to give us enough money to where we're just okay with that. Either way, let's get these cows fed up. And now with the cows all fed up, we will just fill this trailer up one more time. That way tomorrow it's a little easier. But one thing I did want to check out is I wanted to head over to the grass fields that we planted first. And I want to see if they are ready to go. I'm thinking they're probably going to be a little short right now, but I just at least wanted to get a progress report here on the first fields that we did. And yeah, a little, a little too short. I mean, we could technically get something off of that, but it's really not, you know, it doesn't make any sense to mow it and we won't mow it, but um, it all, it's very tempting just because we, no, let's not go in there. It's very tempting because we don't have any cow food other than the TMR that we bought from Clever and that starts to get very expensive. Either way, speaking of which, let's go down there and spend some more money. We've got to go down. We've got to get this roller. And now a quick cut because as promised, we are back from Clever. We have got this roller and we are going to get into this field because we've got to get all of these stones, at least the little ones, pushed down. Now, the plan eventually would be to get all of the rocks out of the field, but it's just grass that we're getting. It's not like we're going to be hurting a yield that is not going to just continuously grow that's the best part about grass we're hoping to get three cuttings a year on this but hey if we can get four that would be excellent we're gonna have to fertilize it a little bit better but i'm not expecting four cuttings on the first year if we get three this year it'll be lucky only because these fields haven't been touched in a really long time and that's something that we have to deal with that's something that we have to work with and that's something that we're working on right now that's why it's taking a little bit of longer to uh, get silage and to get these cows fed and you know farming it's not an overnight thing let's get this rolled up and let's continue on with our day
and now approaching 11 o'clock and we're doing very good with timing here i think that we will probably be able to get this whole field rolled up by the end of the day and that's fine because we've got nothing else to do after this well not until the grass grows and then we'll have to start mowing and at that point looking at our bank account I think we're probably going to get the crone. I can't see why we wouldn't get the crone, especially how big this field is. And if we're going to be doing this three times a year, I think it's something like $20,000 to rent or lease. So, I mean, we're, we're probably going to just have to go out and buy the crone. But that's fine. Uh, you know, that's probably going to be our biggest purchase. We're not going to get any big tractors or anything, at least not in the foreseeable future. But either way, let's get this thing done.
And now as promised, all the rolling is done. All of this field, at least what we can do right now, is done. And now we can go inside for the night. But thanks guys for hanging out. Thanks for watching this episode. And I'll catch you in the next one.